welcome back to Nana Obi channel. Uh, today with this tutorial I'm gonna show to you how to make uh, this beautiful bag. Uh, they call a seashell bag. So I make an, the variation with cream and different color here to give it the illusion, the shell. <laughs> and then um, I'm using my favorite macrame cord from Ice Yarn. I love this yarn. I mean this cord is so soft, it's so good to work on it. And I mean I make all my purse with this macrame cord. So they suggested to use a four millimeter hook, but I'm gonna use a three and a an half because the, when you work in the bag they have to be more um, uh, more uh, tight. So for this tutorial you need, uh, of course, you prefer yarn. I suggest to, to no use the regular yarn, otherwise the bag doesn't gonna hold at all. So it's gonna be like very mushy. If you don't have a macrame cord, you can use a heavy cotton, very um, uh, a thick cotton that's the word, thick cotton, and that could be work, but you have to put a, a plastic canvas all over to, let us say, see my, they don't have any support inside, and then they stay pretty, pretty good. So, um, that's what it look like. Let me see if I can show you better. Okay, so I line it, see what it look like, I put a, a magnetic here and then I put this one. So <clears throat> like I say, you need a macrame cord, any color you like, you prefer, a scissor, pin, uh, thread, needle thread, and then we need a little piece of canvas for the bottom, from the bottom of the purse, from right there. But you've seen the tutorial. Canvas and fabric, your choice, depending on the color that you chose for your bag. Now, they look like that it's very hard to do it, but believe me, it's not. It's a lot of step. I'm, I'm gonna say this, because we have to create a two panel, and then the side, and then we have to line it, but at the end, they come in very nice, and then you're gonna be so happy how they turn out. So follow me in this tutorial, step by step, and I hope you enjoy it, and then um, let's go start it. We're gonna start to make a chain 74. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue like that until we make a 74 chain. Like I said in the video, uh, introduction video, I tell you that we're using a three color, so, but you uh, can make them one color. So I just mix and match to look like a shell. But anyway, so we wanna work, we're gonna start to work this bag from the bottom here. So we're gonna work like a zigzag now like a chevron stitch. So we have the 74 chain. We no need we no need a turning chain because it's included. And then we're gonna start from the second chain from the hook. We're gonna do single crochet one and two. And then the next one we're gonna do three single crochet in the same chain. 
So it's one, two, and three. Now we're going to work seven single crochet in each chain. I mean, one single crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we have to decrease two chain. So skip the first, the, the next one, and skip this one. You have to skip two chain. In the third, you're gonna start again seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, let's go call this uh, the heel it down the heel. Now we are at the top of the heel. So in the next one we're gonna do three single crochet. One, two, and three. It's a lot of windy today. Then again we have to go down to the heel. So we have to do seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then again, we skip two chain, one and two, and the third, we're gonna start again, seven single crochet. Four, five, six, and seven. And then again, we have to increase in the next one. Three single crochet. One, two, and three. And then again, single, seven single crochet down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip two chain, one and two, and the third one, start again the seven, seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So continue like that and then I meet you before we finish. I meet you here before we finish. I'm almost at the end so I do my seven single crochet. Now I have to, I'm in the heel. So one, two, and three, and we have a two chain left, one, and two single crochet. So we start with, with two single crochet and we finish with two. That's what it looks like so far. Okay, now the second row. Now we have two now here, right? So the increase is gonna be in this side. See here? The top is gonna work the same, but we're gonna increase it here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, until we reach the length that we need. And then I'll tell you how many row. Okay? So Chain one, turn, and we're gonna start to two, 
work in the back loop only to give it this ridge like the seashell so one two and three now we are at the heel where we have the three single crochet okay so in in the middle here we're gonna do three single crochet one two and three and then we're gonna work it down so seven one two three four five six and seven now in the first row we skip two chain now we have a single crochet so after the seven single crochet we're gonna skip two single crochet one and two and the third you're gonna start the seven single crochet so one two three four five six and seven to not make a mistake keep them you have to count it all the time when you go down and when you go up then you make sure that you have a seven single crochet each time so here again I'm in the middle three single crochet one two and three and then again go down with seven single crochet one two three four five six and seven skip two one and two and the third one you're gonna start again seven single crochet one two three four five six and seven and then again we are to the hill three single crochet one two and three continue like that and I meet you here at the end I'm at the heel again before the end three single crochet one two and three and then we're gonna have a one two and three single crochet that's what it look like so far now this is a repetition you have to do this back and forth back and forth until you reach in this side in this side and this side you're gonna have a 32 single crochet so you keep working and this is gonna increase by itself it, each time you turn it around the next time it's gonna be five and five uh, four and four and then five and five and then six and seven until you reach the 32 stitch here and then I'll show you what you have to do next okay I reach my 32 row and the U panel uh, panel sorry <laughs> it should be look like that let me zoom out a little bit like that you must have something like that so now I'm gonna get closer again we are here right this is the last 32 single crochet now we have to touch all this point now I'm gonna change 
this one I'm going to take it like this. I'm going inside here. One, and then I come close with this one. Yeah, put it here. Now in the back loop, in both loop. Two. Fold it. Three. Fold it. Four. And the last one. Five. If you find that the, it's hard for you to do with this, do it without the end of here. Now take your yarn and then pull through one, two, three, four, five, give a nice tuck and single crochet. Now we want to work that the ladder 32 single crochet from this side. Okay, so one it's here, two, three, four, five. Six, I continue like that to the hand in the back loop. So I finish the 32 and then you can adjust and then we start to look like a seashell. Now from here on after this row we're gonna we have a 32 single crochet here plus 32 here plus the one that we use for close it so totally we have a 65 single crochet now you have to do 10 rows of single crochet more for the bottom because this is gonna be like that close it up like that let me put it away a little bit more So we have to just pretend the ladder. So this is gonna be the bottom, okay? So we need to make the ladder elf bottom here. So we need 10 more uh, single crochet in the back loop only. And we're gonna start to together, I'm gonna show you. Then of course I'm gonna tie it up all this loose end. And then you see it's gonna start to look nice. So again, single crochet, turn your work, and then we work 10 rows of single crochet. And then of course you need to make a two of this, okay? So this is all done and this I'm start to finish and you need two panel and then with 10 row of single crochet here okay so do the single the 10 row single crochet here and then uh, I'll teach you the next step the next step it's gonna be we have to make a two of this and then I'll tell you why I'm gonna line this bag so because see here it's very soft even if I use a macrame cord still this hand is a little soft so to make a, this stay stand up more I make two of this but just for when I reach one, two, three, 
four, five, six. When I reach in this size, five single crochet, I stop. Because here, we're gonna put it, um, even if you don't wanna put a, a line, but still, we're gonna sew together this part. We're gonna put it, if you want to, I'm gonna line it here. I'll show you how to do later. Put this on, sew it together, and then they're gonna give you a lot of stabilization, stabilize for your bag, especially here. So go ahead, make a two of this. Remember, you have to have a five single crochet in each side. Five this way and then five this way and then I'll show you how to attach it on. Okay? I'll see you in a bit. Okay, after you finish uh, this two piece here, we have to work from for the side, the back. Okay? So we're gonna do 24 single crochet So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, into you have a twenty-four. I have my twenty-four plus one single crochet in the next one. And then you're gonna do single crochet into to the hand. Okay, now we have to work chain one and we're gonna work single crochet, regular single crochet for eight rows. Okay, so do it uh, a row of single crochet and then I meet you there. I finish in my eighth row. Now chain one, turn your work, and now we're gonna start to just this row in back loop only. So one, just this row. I show you why. See, this is the back loop that I did. We need to make uh, this piece bend it. So if you work like a one row, a back loop, and then we're gonna start again a single crochet, regular single crochet, that's what you have. So they bend very easy. Okay? So, continue your row of single crochet back loop only like that and then chain one to new work and do it again a row rows a single crochet regular single crochet not back loop just this first row is gonna be back loop and then you wanna work it like you did here okay I'll see you at the end I'm back to just to make sure that you understand me what I'm saying. So I finish in my back loop row, chain one, I turn my work and then I'm working like regular single crochet in the boat chain. Like that. Regular single crochet. And then we're gonna do eight times and then of course we need two I make already one we need to make a two okay so complete this one finish bag two of this and two of this and then I tell you the next step okay now that we have all the Piece, make it. It's the time to assemble it. 
So the first thing that we're gonna do is take one of this one at this piece right here and then we're gonna put it this way all done. This way they have to pair here. And then I'm gonna help me out with uh, some pin. One here. It have to be in the wrong side, face on you. Like that. Okay. Then we need a uh, yarn needle with blunt point. And then we're gonna start put together. So we're gonna grab these two. Let me come up closer. Two chain from here and leave a little long tail so you can suit later. And two from here, from this side. And then go in the back, take two from here and two from here, sew together. At the end, when you finish, just make sure that you're not very well here. So do a couple times with the Again, here and here, and then two from here, and two from here, And then we continue sewing like that all around to the perimeter. here and one here then again a one and one one and one you have to take it just two here where we don't have a the ridge the chain. We don't have the chain here, so. And then you continue sewing like that. Okay. So when you're done with this part, you're gonna do this one too. So attach this here. In the meantime, I touch mine, and then I see you in a bit. After we finish uh, to sew this part here and here, now we're gonna put the bag like that. 
see. Neat. And then we have to attach together the bottom. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna start from here. we're going to tack here at the corner and then again in the same stitch you're going to go two times zoom you in now so we're going to sew this way so this is uh, the chain, right? You take uh, one chain from here and another chain from here and you sew together and then from here another here from this side to this side again from this size to this size So when you turn around they look like that or we can sew in another way I'll show you for me it's fine like that because I'm gonna put a, a piece of plastic canvas in the bottom but if you don't want to put a, a, a canvas in the bottom I'll show you how to have to sew to make a strong the bottom of your purse so again so you take a boat boat chain boat stitch see no one two and then you do it together one two, see two from here and two from here then again two from here and two from here and it's coming like that so two from here two from here again two and two you can see okay this is the stitch two from here and two from here two and two two and two continue like that to the end and then I meet you here Okay, we finished so the two part of the bag. Now, if you want to make the bottom here, I'll show you the bottom on the purse, the bag here, more uh, solid and steady. You can put a canvas, plastic canvas. They have two kind of uh, plastic canvas. One with um the hole is a little bit bigger and one with the small holes you have to buy the one with the big holes because you are you're gonna have to be able to sew uh, this one here so only thing that you have to do just the measure from here to here and then I usually I do this I just give an idea uh, from here to here and then I'm gonna start cut here then you cut it Right? Yeah, 
I they have to be aligned with the end so because we're gonna sew here so here so here is too big so I'm gonna cut two more let me see perfect and then I think I'm gonna cut uh, three more here yeah three more And then you put like random stitch. They don't have to be perfect. They have to just be secure to the bottom of the bag. Okay? So sew around here with regular um, thread. And then I'll show you what you have to do next. So that's what I mean. I mean when I say to you to put the canvas inside because it, it's a stabilizer see it's much better this way see okay now before we attach the side part if you want to line it i show you what you have to do so with a fabric, your choice, what kind of fabric you want to put inside. Then put your uh, bag in the top, and then you have you you cut around leaving two centimeter for size. When you come here, you don't have to do cut like a zigzag, just do a round. See here? Just go a cut around here, the fabric, round it. Because if we're gonna sew together here, that's why we make this double. Because after we put the line, we're gonna sew here and then you don't want to see nothing. So cut two centimeter here. It doesn't matter here because you're going to go under here and then make a round it when you cut it. And then we put it down and we regular thread. We're going to sew it together. Okay? So do this and then uh, I'll do mine and I'll see you in a bit. Okay. I pin it all my fabric on it. Now, when you put the fabric in the bag, you have to put it very, very close to the end here. You have to leave it just a space, enough space to sew this part with the side part. Okay, so very close, very close as soon as you can, just leave the space to put the needle and sew with this side part. So I show you uh, how I sew my I, I, how I line it. So okay, I'm gonna make a here. this under here and then I'm gonna start let me come close so I'm gonna take a little piece from here and go straight in front of me like that of course So 
well again here. Then go two times at the same point. And then I take a one piece from the cord and one piece in front of me. Very small stitch because you want to you know make sure that they stay pretty steady here. See? It'll be here a little bit here. So continue to swing. Oh, you if you have another method to do it, when you reach this side, you do the same thing. You sew here, take a little piece of fabric, and then the cord. Fabric and the core, fabric all around, all around into the ditch where we start here. Okay, so sew yours, so sew mine, and I'll see you later. I forgot to tell you before you close here, we have to put the magnetic for the closure. Okay, so we're gonna do this. this a little bit to open up. You can find this in Joa Fabric, Walmart, anywhere. So you can you have a one, two, three and four in the middle here. Okay, so take them out. You pin, put this is inside here between the stitches, like that. Put it back, this one. And then with the scissor again, help you out or with player or something to close this a little. Just like that. And then you put it down. And then you put this here. But it's easy, easy to to see where because you have to put in the middle the four. So we are here. Put it like that. Take them out. This one. You have it here. Pull it. Make sure that you go very well inside the stitches. back and then you close it one and two there we go and then you have it like that and then you finish sewing all around okay I'll see you later okay I already attached my one side part. See what I meant when I told you to do the um, uh, back loop only one row because we're gonna be able to close it up like that. So we're gonna attach it together this side. I'll show you how to do it. Open your back and then start from here. Make a sure the ridge part here is inside. And then we're gonna start from here to the corner here. And then again, you're gonna leave a long tail to sew together later. One of these. Hmm. So I 
fotos en cámara. There we go. And then again, one from here. Both loops here. At this point, I'm using a double thread. Then again, one here. My dog barking to the kids that they play outside. And then you continue sewing like that. Until you reach it is coming see this nice ridge here I like it because it's gonna look like the decoration and then you continue swing like that when you come here to the corner you sew here in the corner and then you sew here okay so I'm gonna finish mine and then I'll see you in a bit and this part look like when we put everything Now the only thing that we need is to make the end of. Okay, I already make one. This one is very easy to do, and then it's a very study. It's no um, when you put the end on your bag, the end will have to be very solid. Otherwise, your bag is gonna collapse. And then this, you know, all the heavy that you have in your purse. The end of they have to be very steady. So we're gonna take the crochet again and we're gonna start with 70 chain, 70. So one, two, three, four, five. Six into you reach the 70. I make my 70 chain, but the end is up to you if you want a shorter or if you want a longer. I prefer uh, to put my end back here, no in my shoulder. So 17 for me is good. So plus one, and then we're gonna do single crochet. for all 70 chain here, okay? And me too here. Okay, I'm at the end here. Let me come close. Now, chain one, two new work. Now we have it here, these two uh, B. So we have to work in the this one, the first one. See this one? Usually we work taking it both loop. We're gonna take it just one, but in the front, the close to you. So insert the U hook here, grab the yarn, and do single crochet. And then again, gonna do single crochet just in the front loop, the first one. Okay, I'll show you again here. See, we have a two. We have to take this one, the first one, this one. And then again, the next one. 
and then you do all single crochet in the front loop okay and we're gonna create this little ridge here so continue like that and I'll meet you at the end I'm at the end of the road the roads and I'm doing my last single crochet here chain one to new work and then we're gonna work in the back loop this one single crochet in the back loop Uh, we're gonna alternate for six rows one time you do front loop and then the sagoma you're gonna do back loop alternate until you reach the six rows you have to do six time like that one time in front, one time in post, one time in front, one time in post. So continue like that. I finish my and I'm back. Okay. Okay. Once we're done, we start to close here. Then you pass inside still open here okay so we're gonna go inside here cut a long tail from your yarn very long because I show you what you have to do next so and then we have a um, the loop here second one loop and one loop and then close it Again, one loop and one loop and then we close one loop and one loop then we close together like that okay just one loop you put the two hand like that so you see very easily where is the loop okay just one this one and this one Okay. And then finish swing like that and I'll see you at the end. After you finish to sew all your endo bag, now um, you have a choice to put this one and then you have to use this uh, um, a D shape that you use for bags for seabell and then you attach here you pass this through give it some stitch here and then you attach with couple stitch right here in this part and then the other in the other side and then you need four of this, two for each and back. And or you can put um, something like that. Do you attach it here beside the bag? It's a your choice. Whatever you want to put it, you feel more that you like it. Uh, that's fine. Um, I don't know yet if I'm going to put the end bag or the chain. In both ways, good. So, there you have it. This is your bag. So, it's coming nice. I already, already made another one for a customer they asked me for. So, I hope this tutorial it was uh, uh, easy to follow. Um, if you have any concern or, or if you want a, a more explanation, please leave me a, a comment in the information box. And then, um, uh, thank you so much for watching. Give me a like and subscribe to my, to my channel to see more videos. 
and more bags coming. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for watching.